Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most requested programs and that is regarding caregivers. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through its complete application process, its requirements, its fees and many more. So without wasting any time, let's start. Okay, let's first understand that what this program is. So basically, this program was launched in June 2019 and it will run for five years. And guys, the purpose of this program is to provide PR to qualified caregivers and their family members. So guys, if you live in Canada or outside of Canada, you can apply to this program if you meet the requirements. Now let's talk about the requirements for this program. First of all, let's discuss the education requirement. So the minimum education requirement is degree or diploma that is equivalent to Canadian post-secondary education. And guys, if you have completed your studies outside of Canada, you need to get an educational credential assessment, which is also called ECA. And the assessment must be done by one of the following organizations, which are designated by IRCC. And each organization charges a different fee and has different processing times. So guys, please check their websites and select the one that is best for you. However, I would recommend BES because it has less processing time as compared to others and the fees is low as well. Okay, now let's move on to the next requirement which is language proficiency test. You must take an approved English or French language test before you submit your application. Let's say if you're planning to write IELTS exam, then it has to be general, not the academic one. And the score for each skill you will need is already specified by them at their website link is given in the description box below and this is the table where you can check the minimum requirements for each skill under CLB level 5 okay so next requirement is your job offer and guys your job offer must be genuine full-time which means at least 30 hours of paid work each week it must be from one of these NOCs and offer must be made using offer of employment uh, that is IMM 5983 okay after meeting the requirements guys your next step is to gather all the documents and detailed document checklist is available on their official website so just go through it and collect your documents so you are going to need travel documents such as your passport and um, your language proficiency results your education documents such as certificates or degree if you have or diploma or ECA report your valid temporary resident status if you are applying within Canada and then your uh, clearance certificate and then photographs and stuff like this so guys uh, you can go through this checklist and once you gather all the documents your next step is to apply to either the home child care provider pilot or the home support worker pilot depending on which occupation you plan to work in and let me just walk you through the step-by-step -step process of the application so first of all you need to choose which program you want to go with and then you need to submit a work permit application and in order to do that we will have to go to their official website which is cic.gc.ca and guys this is the page where you can apply and the link is given in the description box below and let's say if you are applying from outside of canada then check this option and then it will give you the list of steps that you need to follow and this is the instruction guide that will help you submitting your application to either home child care provider pilot or the home support worker pilot depending on which occupation you plan to work in as i said guys you need to submit your work permit application and pr application together but there is an additional requirement to meet the pr eligibility criteria and that is work experience which will be assessed after you come to canada at your work permit and these are all detailed instructions to fill out your application for your work permit and pr and the link of this guide is given in the description box you can go and check it out and guys it is super easy to fill out all the forms all the sections of each form are explained into the guide so you can do it on your own so once you complete your application you can pay your fees online and the fees for this uh, program is 550 to process your application and 500 for the right of permanent residence which is 1050 and beside that you need to pay fees for your biometrics which is 85 dollars and also you need to pay fees for work permit let's say if you're applying from india which is $155 and then another fees for open work permit which is 
hundred dollars Canadian. And once you pay your fees, complete your application, then you can mail it to this address if you're applying under the home children care provider pilot but if you're applying under home support worker pilot then you need to mail your application on this address and if you meet the requirement you will get a work permit to work in canada after coming to canada your next step is to get a work experience as a caregiver in one of the following nocs that is 4411 and 4412 at least for 24 months and that work experience must be acquired in the 36 months prior to submission of your proof of work experience. But if you haven't achieved 24 months of work experience from Canada, then officer will assess an applicant's ability to perform the work by referring following documents such as previous relevant uh, work experience, relevant education or training and stuff like this. So once you get at least 24 months of work experience, then you send it as a proof to IRCC and then they will make a final decision on your application of PR that you already submitted. And guys, the good news is you can also include your family members work or study permit applications with your application, which means your family members are also eligible to come to Canada. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it for today and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I would be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.